Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For today's lesson, we will discuss about momentum and impulse. At the end of this video, learners are expected to relate momentum and impulse to collision of object and solve sample problems about momentum and impulse. Momentum is a measure of one's motion. It is the product of an object's mass and velocity. It is also known as translational momentum or linear momentum. All objects in motion possess momentum. The amount of momentum depends on two variables. How much object is moving, which is mass, and how fast the object is moving, which is velocity. Therefore, we can say that momentum is mass in motion. All objects have mass. A moving object has momentum since its mass is in motion. The momentum of an object is equal to the mass of the object times the velocity of the object, or simply P is equal to M times V, where mass is measured in kilograms, velocity is measured in meters per second, and momentum is in kilograms meter per second. Two objects with equal velocity but different masses have different amounts of momentum. Two objects with equal masses but different velocities have different amounts of momentum. In our example, despite having equal velocity, the truck has a higher momentum than the car because of its mass. Momentum is a vector quantity because it follows the direction of the object's velocity. An object moving to the right has a positive velocity, while an object moving to the left has a negative velocity. When an object's velocity changes, momentum also changes. When an object does not move or its velocity is zero, its momentum is zero. The amount of an object's momentum is the same amount of force needed to stop it. To apply the concept of momentum, let's solve this sample problem. Calculate the momentum of a 200 kg object traveling at 15 meter per second to the east. To answer the sample problem, let's follow the following steps. First, identify what is required to find in the problem. You are asked to calculate the object's momentum. Second, identify the given in the problem. The mass and the velocity of the object are given. The velocity is positive because it is moving to the east. Therefore, mass is equal to 200 kg while velocity is equal to 15 meter per second. Step 3. Write the working equation, which is momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Let's substitute the given values. Momentum is equal to 220 kg times 15 meter per second. And the final answer is, momentum is equal to 3,000 kg meter per second. On the other hand, impulse is the force applied by an object to another that causes it to move at a given time interval. It is also the change in momentum of an object. It is the average impact force of a collision. Recalling the second law of motion, and it can be written as force is equal to mass times acceleration, where m is the mass of the object in kilogram and a is the acceleration in meter per second squared. Acceleration can also be expressed as the change of velocity over change in time, where change in velocity is in meter per second and change in time is in second. From the given expression, mass change in velocity is equal to the momentum of the object. Thus, the expression can also be written as force change in time is equal to mass change in time or force change in time is equal to change in momentum. The change in momentum is equivalent to the product of force multiplied by the change in time where force times change in time is called as impulse represented by letter I. Impulse is the change in momentum of an object. Hence, Impulse is equal to mass times change in velocity or mass times final velocity minus initial velocity or impulse is equal to change in momentum or impulse is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum. 
to apply the concept of impulse, let's solve this sample problem. A 5 kg object is moving with a velocity of 5 m per second to the east. Then, its velocity changed to 8 m per second to the west. Find the impulse given to the object. To solve our sample problem, let's follow the following steps. Step 1. Identify what is required to find in the problem. You are asked to calculate the impulse. Second, identify the given in the problem. The mass of the object and the initial and final velocities are given. Where mass is equal to 5 kg, initial velocity is equal to 5 m per second, and final velocity is equal to 8 m per second. Step 3. Write the working equation. Impulse is equal to mass times final velocity minus initial velocity. By substituting the given values, impulse is equal to 5 kg times 8 m per second minus 5 m per second. And the final answer will be negative 65 kg m per second. Let's solve another sample problem about impulse. A ball with mass of 0.6 kg hits a wall with a velocity of 10 m per second. Wall applies 4,000 newton force to the ball and it turns back with 5 m per second velocity. Find the time of ball-wall contact. To solve it, let's follow the following steps. Step 1. Identify what is required to find in the problem. You are asked to calculate the change in time of the ball-wall contact. Step 2. Identify the given in the problem. The mass of the object, force applied to the object, and the initial and final velocities are given. Where mass is equal to 0.6 kg, initial velocity is equal to 10 m per second, final velocity is equal to negative 5 m per second, and force is equal to 4000 newton. Step 3 is to write the working equation. Force times change in time is equal to mass times change in time. Using this general formula, we can derive for the formula of time. Change in time is equal to mass times change in velocity over force. Or simply, we can write it as mass times final velocity minus initial velocity over force. Substituting the given values, change in time is equal to 0.6 kg times negative 5 m per second minus 10 m per second over 4000 newton. Performing the equation, the final answer will be change in time is equal to negative 2.25 times 10 raised to negative 3 seconds. Therefore, the time of the ball wall contact is 2.25 times 10 raised to negative 3 seconds before the ball turns back. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos by clicking the notification bell.